Hey friends, welcome back. Um, I'm going to read another book to you guys today. And I chose a book that I thought was really good for our, the time that we're living in right now because it is more important than ever to be thankful and to tell those people out there, thank you for all the things that they do. And it's also more important than ever to reach out to those uh, that are close to you that you love and uh, and just you know communicate with them and, and send them a letter. So uh, in in reading today's book, I also want to challenge you guys to maybe find somebody to write them a letter. You know, get really good at writing writing friendly letters because there's you know nothing that people love more than than getting a letter from somebody that they they are thinking of or you know somebody that they love. So this is the book, Ten Thank You Letters, by Daniel Kirk. Rabbit and pig have so much to be thankful for. We're going to read their funny letters and find out why. This is 10 Thank You Letters by Daniel Kirk. I don't know if I said that. Ring! Ring! Hello, rabbit. Hello, pig. Want to play? Sure. But first I'm writing a thank you letter to my grandma. She got me this sweater for my birthday. Nice. Hey, I want to thank my grandma, too. Can I borrow a piece of paper, pig? And a pencil? Sure, rabbit. Dear Grandma, thank you for the marshmallow cake you always bake for my birthday. Love, rabbit. Okay, pig, I am done with my letter. How about you? Not yet, rabbit. I am telling my grandma about the weather. But it's a thank you letter. Why tell her about the weather? I don't know, Rabbit. It's just the way I do it. Whoa, I just thought of someone who deserves a big thank you. Can I borrow another piece of paper, Pig? And an envelope? And a stamp, too? Dear Madam President, Thanks for doing a ducky job. Let me know if you need some help. Love, Rabbit. Done. Are you finished with your letter yet, pig? Well, no. I thought I'd tell Grandma about how I'm helping Mom with chores. Chores? Why are you telling her that? It's a thank you letter. Because Grandma likes it when I help my mom. And she might want to know how things are going around here. Hey, I just thought of another great person to thank. Can I borrow more paper? Looks like Pig might be getting a little bit frustrated. Dear Mr. Lappin, in case you are wondering how things are going around here, they are great. Your funny books make my whole class laugh. Love, Rabbit. Looks like he was writing a letter to his favorite author. Aren't you done with your letter yet, Pig? No, Rabbit. I just want to tell Grandma that I laughed so much because yesterday my loose tooth came out. Rabbit's writing a lot of letters and Pig is working on just one. Can I have another sheet of paper, Pig? Let me guess. You thought of someone else to thank? I sure did. Dear Mrs. Pachyderm, thanks for teaching us about brushing our teeth. Now I have a clean teeth and fresh breath. Love, Rabbit. This one's done, too. How was your letter going, Pig? Well, I haven't seen my grandma in a while, so there's a lot to tell her. But you keep interrupting. Sorry, Pig. Maybe if you just give me a stack of paper and envelopes and more stamps, I won't have to bother you. <laughs> Dear Mr. Moose, you are the best librarian. Thanks for finding me so many sports books. Love, Rabbit. Dear Miss Otter, thanks for being a great bus driver and never getting lost on the way to school. Love, Rabbit. Dear Mrs. Chicken, thanks for being such a great crossing guard and making sure everyone gets to the other side. Love, Rabbit. 
Dear Mr. Hogg, thanks for always giving me a carrot pop at the market. Love, Rabbit. Dear Mr. Kid, thanks for delivering all our mail. It's a lot to carry, isn't it? Love, Rabbit. There, I am finished. See you later, pig. I am off to the mailbox to send all my letters. Finally, I can finish my letter. Yay! Done! But Rabbit used all my envelopes. And all of the stamps. Oh, no! How will I mail my letter to Grandma now? Uh-oh. Pig's got a problem. Ring, ring! Hello, Pig. Guess what? I got more envelopes and stamps for you. And I wrote one more thank you letter. I thought I'd deliver it myself. Here you go. Thanks, Rabbit. No one ever wrote me a thank you letter before. It says, Dear Pig, thank you for inspiring me and for being generous and for being my friend. Love, Rabbit. P.S. Now are you ready to play out, play it, play catch outside? Yay! Game time! Yes, after a quick stop at the mailbox. And here's the letter he wrote to Grandma. It says, Dear Grandma, thanks for sending the great birthday sweater. Did you know my favorite color is purple? The weather has been been cool so I can wear a sweater every day, even when I'm helping mom wash dishes or sweep the floor. Yesterday, my best friend Rabbit and I were laughing at a funny book and my loose tooth fell out. Oh well, I will grow another one. Anyway, thanks again for the sweater and I hope you are well. Love, Pig. The end. That was a story, 10 thank you letters, written and illustrated by Daniel Kirk. I love this story because it shows how friends can communicate using uh, friendly letters and write letters to each other, even if they're far distances away. Because it's really great to hear, to uh, open up the mail and find a letter from, a, from somebody that you love. Uh, and not only does he write a letter, but he added lots of details in his letter. He didn't just say, thanks for the sweater. Okay, bye. He added lots of details in there and told his grandma all about how his day was going and how his life was going and, and all about his friends. And so he added lots of details in his letters. So I want to challenge you guys. Find somebody that you want to say thank you thank you to. Maybe it's your grandma. Maybe it's a, a parent or a teacher or maybe it's a friend, and uh, write them a letter. Um, remember all the, all the details about writing a letter. It should have a greeting, it should have a message, and at the very end it should have a, a closing part where they would, they would sign off and say, sincerely, or your friend, or love, and then your name at the bottom. So I will try to uh, put some, um, some, some details in the spot below so, so i've never done that before so i'll put some resources in the, on the spot below and uh that way you guys can learn more about writing friendly letters uh so if you like the story please come back and listen to more stories because i'm going to keep posting these as long as i can until uh youtube tells me that i can't put them up anymore i will see you guys later Bye bye